do it yourself, solo dolo. Okay, so today is April 22nd of 2020. And I am going to show you all how to inoculate a spawn bag to grow psilocybin, psilocybin mushrooms, which are the mushrooms that have a hallucinogenic effect. Okay. So a few days ago, I received this in the mail. What's in here is two three-pound bags of sterilized rye substance. So it comes in this bag and it's like in a square, really compact. And then it's like this, right? So you open it, let the bag sit for 20, 30 minutes until air gets into the bag, and then you can start your injection. So when you do this, you need to have really, really, really clean hands. Um, I don't have any gloves, but I did just finish washing my hands with um, dish soap for like a minute. So that should be good enough. Okay, so on the bag here, this allows for chemical and air exchange, this white patch here. And then here is the area that I am going to inject my needle. So I use a company called Sporeworks that supplies spores for research only. This whole project is for research. That I might add. So if you look at it, student microscopy kit. Okay, what does it say? Mm, this kit contains extremely sharp hypodermic needles that may not be appropriate for younger students. Note some kids may be concerned to potential. Remove the glass slit. So I used a different company to order this. You can't really get these two together. Um, so use different sources. Like I said, I got this from Etsy and this was from Sporeworks. Okay. I ordered four different type of syringes. I ordered this species is called, excuse me, all of these species are psilocybe cubensis, pero, but this strain is called Burma. This is Burma. This is, come on, read it with me. Strain, you see it right there? Penis envy. These are super, super, duper, duper, duper potent right here, so I really can't wait. Um, oh, let me show you this one so you can see how it's written. Burma. This is penis envy, uncut, hybrid. So the difference between this penis envy uncut and this one is what it looks like. One looks more like a circumcised penis and one doesn't, okay? Um, Treasure Coast. This one is like... Southern Florida, you can find this one. Treasure Coast. That's why it has that name. So what I'm going to do is put the other three that I don't want back into here. The Penis Envy has a really thick um, stalk for lack of a better word, in a small head, but it is more potent and it takes longer to grow. So the theory is that you get more of the hallucinogenic effects within each milligram. Okay. Okay, so along with the syringes, this came. And I think 
because this is for research, I think I don't want to really use anything to open it. I'll use my nail. So what I have here, because remember, this is for research. And also, if I had a microscope, I could be able to use this. <laughs> and look at my specimens. So here's the piece of glass. The top piece. Comes in like this. Close there. And I feel like there's another one in here. I could be wrong. I think I am wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. There's not another one in here. So, yeah. This is if I had a microscope to look at the spores underneath the microscope. So. Now, I do want to show you the spores because you can see it inside. Let me get behind it so you can look. Will it fall? There we go. I don't really know how to explain what it looks like. It kind of looks like, I guess what you see here, but it's black, like two black specimens in here. I don't know. Moving on, these are the syringe needles that I have. So I'm gonna take one like so. I have to keep my area clean. So I am going to, oh, this fell out. I knew it, cause I mean, from my biology classes, I know I'm supposed to have two pieces of glass. You know, one piece uh, slides on top of the other with the specimen in the middle, so. I found it, put it back in here. Cool. <laughs> okay, so here's my syringe. All right, my bag, we're ready. So I'm going to lower this so you can see what I'm doing. So I had to pull this piece off of the bottom and some of it got on me, but I'll be okay. So now you take this, as you see the needle is in a plastic cap already. It's already sterilized, I mean, boop, pop it on like this, take the tip off. Like I said, some people do this again to the needle, but it's already sterilized, you know, I don't really need to do that, just... So you rub this, all right? And this has about eight to nine cc's in it. I'm only going to use three. Because you're gonna use one cc per pound and this is a three pound bag, so. Stick it in. And you want to go deep so that you know you're getting the grain in the center of the bag. But the bag is kind of thick. See that? So what I'm going to do is as I slowly pull the needle out, I'm going to press down here and inject some of the spores. Kind of hard to see because as I put it in, I can only tell how much I have in from here, right? But there's a sticker on it, so I can't really see it how well I would like to. So I'm slowly pulling it out. Oh. 
as I push down. That should be enough. Okay. So now it has stopped at the seven mark. It's dripping. It's dripping. So when you cap a needle, you don't really want to do it like this. I just did, but a lot of people can, like hurt themselves, especially I don't depending on what you're using your needle for. So what I was taught to do from the hospital is just put it on a thing, scoop it up in there like that, and that'll keep you from pricking yourself with spores. Okay, so that was the inoculation. Um, some people will take a piece of tape and put it over the injection port. But this injection port is self-healing, so it will close on itself. Self-healing, I should say sealing. Um, so yeah, I just move it around. And now what I'm going to do is place this bag in a dark closet um, with, where the temperature is about 70 to 80 degrees, um, where it can be um, in peace and not disturbed, not too much airflow coming in and out, um, bringing bacteria. And in about three days, I will start to see something. Now, the whole bag itself, more like two weeks to be full. But we're going to keep up with it. I'm going to check in with you all. I'm going to check on my bags, but not too much that I contaminate it. And thank you for joining me. And I hope you all have a great time. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.